Greetings. My name is Dr. Glenn Smith, and I'm speaking to you today from the city of Montreal in the province of Quebec in Canada. The question that I've been asked to uh, reflect with you about is, what is God saying to the church right now, and how should we move forward in urban mission in the next season? And I want to invite you to enter five of my reflections, because in my conversations with pastors and practitioners, both here in my city and then across Canada, uh, here's five things that I think are really important that God might be saying to us that we would want to take into consideration as we go forward. And the first one is, is that we've got to become much better students of social systems and history. I learned this through the uh, horrible earthquake that devastated Port-au-Prince in January 10 years ago. We knew that there were issues related to uh, ge geographical positioning of Port-au-Prince, but the largest natural disaster to hit a city in human history took place in January of 2010. And that prompted me to say, we've got to figure out some stuff about urban geography. As soon as this pandemic hit China, I, I dug out two books. I'd recommend them to you. May most certainly, read the book, Plagues and People by William McNeil. It's, it's the history of pandemics going back to antiquity. But I'd also invite you to read Pandemic 1918, which is about the Spanish flu. You see, as the church, we need to understand history. Otherwise, we're going to repeat it. So we've got to understand systems and how they work. Uh, public health is about public systems. And the church needs to be the master in that area. But the second thing is, uh, I'm seeing that small multiplying missional communities are where things are going. I attend a church. We, we don't own any land. We don't have any buildings. Uh, we're a congregation of 1,300 adults in four different locations. Um, we've worked on missional communities for the last seven years. Right now, we have 75 of them in our church. In the space of five days, we were able to move 90% of our small groups online, Zoom, Messenger, FaceTime, Google, and those groups are multiplying. And it just reminds me that when your congregation, however big it is, is small, it becomes nimble. And so in that context, mission is taking place through those missional communities. The third thing, I think this pandemic is going to remind us how important it is to take the local seriously. I can say quite frankly, Sandy and I have lived in this same house for 34 years. I've never had so many good conversations with my neighbors as I'm having right now. It's Ramadan, and uh, there's lots of Muslim immigrants from the Middle East and North Africa that live in my community. I've had marvelous times explaining Jesus in the Quran and praying with my neighbors because of this pandemic. Take the local seriously. But the fourth thing I'd say is that there has been a rush in my country. I don't know about the UK, but there's been a rush in my country for churches to get online as quick as they can. But here's my fourth point. Don't be so Sunday, Sunday centric that you lose the big picture of what God is doing. Join God in his mission. You see, so that's why we need to mobilize people to be volunteers. That's why we need to be serving socially. Don't invest all your time to produce a program. Mobilize your church to be the people of God in the community while continuing to do your services online. So study social systems and history. Uh, small multiplying missional communities is where the church is headed in cities. Take the local much more seriously. Fourth, don't be so Sunday-centric that you lose the big picture about what God is doing. Join God in your city where he's at. And then finally, and here's what struck me this past week. Well, we're into month three in confinement here in Montreal. We're not going to be out of it anytime soon. I've had more conversations with younger pastors and younger leaders about spirituality, about how do you live your faith? How do you practice that good notion of Christian piety, both alone and with others? You see, we need to understand much better what it means to be alive and in tune with the Spirit for the good of the world. And I think this is a great time for congregations to rekindle their desire to help people uh, kindle that love for God and that deeper relationship with God. Well, may God be with you at your proximity conference and uh, continue to join God in his great mission. Have a good day.